Hello, uh, the purpose of this video tutorial is to give you an overview of the Survey Manager. And I am now logged into a demonstration account in the Survey Manager. This is Opinion Meter's Enterprise Class Survey Platform, from which you can really manage any aspect of your survey program, from authoring surveys to distributing those surveys, to running reports on those surveys, managing the devices that you may be using within your account, and even managing the users and the users' privileges within your account. Um, I should also say this is an enterprise class system, meaning you can create unlimited sub-accounts beneath your administrator's uh, account, and each sub-account can have unlimited users, and each user can have unlimited privileges. Now, obviously, this is a, is a very deep um, application, but extremely user-friendly uh, and many of our customers are up and running with less than an hour's training. So again the purpose of this tutorial is really just to give you an overview. So I'm going to be touching on the main modules of the system and you should know that our video library has over 40 uh, individual videos covering each of the various components in a much deeper manner. You can take a deeper dive uh, by selecting any of the specific videos that cover specific topics that you want to learn more about. So moving ahead here. So I'm in the main console which is where you come after you log into the system and you'll see here in the main body of the screen we have uh, uh, several categories of shortcuts. Account settings um, here with all of these links, user management, surveys, and reports. Now the typical user spends most of their time in surveys and in reports in those two modules so we'll be taking a deeper look at those two modules. Uh, before I leave this screen I should uh, go ahead and mention the alerts notification area which is the bottom half of the screen. Here you have different tabs, um, satisfaction alerts, uh, account activity, device alerts, device activity, winning if you have a campaign where you're uh, rewarding customers and incentive as an incentive you can use winning alerts. Um, so for example you can click on satisfaction alerts and there are several alerts here. One was triggered a few days ago. You can click on that. It will take you to the alert. Um, so these are really shortcut areas that we provide access to on the main console. An important area here is in the left sidebar account statistics. You can see how many active devices you have, if they're pending or expired, uh, how many surveys you have, device surveys, online surveys, paper surveys, and I should take this moment to mention that the survey manager is a multi-channel uh, solution meaning you can author a survey and distribute it to multiple channels whether that's a survey kiosk or an online survey and a survey that gets emailed to a list of respondents um, or you can run our offline mobile mobile apps either on smartphones or tablets or even our HTML5 mobile web solution or paper survey so we have multiple methods of distributing surveys and then you have your responses for the period, uh, um, and typically our, our period uh, is a licensed uh, period of uh, a year, an annual license, although we can also license monthly. And on the right side is the user profile, and this is a very important button here, update your profile. You always want to make sure this information here is complete and accurate because, for example, any alerts that are going to be going triggered uh, from this account will go to these email addresses and you can indicate uh, account expiration, password change, where you want uh, um, certain emails to go. You can add additional contacts below. You can even add your Twitter account, etc. So this is very important to keep this uh, up to date. Um, and in, we also have live chat uh, during a uh, uh, Pacific time business hours. Um, so click here and you'll go right into a chat. Uh, with one of our support engineers. And at the bottom of any screen you're in, you always have access to the help desk. And of course, help is we have is one of the five main menus above the yellow bar, and these are the main modules. So if I jump to help, you'll see in the sidebar we have help desk here. We have access, like I just mentioned, to the library of video tutorials. And uh, as you'll see, we have many different uh, video tutorials available to you. You can access this through our website as well as within the Survey Manager. So that's publicly accessible. Um, 
help desk here if you click on the help desk you'll see we have a lot of information here common questions articles uh, popular articles etc uh, etc et now if you don't find an answer to something you're looking for here you can always uh, email us your question and this will go uh, immediately to our support engineers you can go into a live chat from here as well or post a public question to the community okay so that's the help menu uh, going back here user module let's just start from left to right with the main modules the user module if this were an enterprise account you could go ahead and create sub accounts modify the privileges of each uh, uh, user within those accounts add additional users uh, etc so modify privileges takes you to an area where there's just two uh, uh, users in this account but if I select a user then I can indicate access or no access to all the different modules within the survey manager portal um, so that's where you can control uh, privileges for each of the users and uh, here in the sidebar you'll see additional functionality you can, you can even create rules which are uh, macros of individual privileges if you want to expedite that process so you can do this through rules you can monitor the activity of any user who's logged into the system a lot of dig count review a lot you can even manage device activity and set alerts if in a, a kiosk in the field if you want to make sure a kiosk gets no less than a hundred completes within a week or a month you would just set that threshold and it would uh, alert you and also you can customize the branding uh, the logo the colors everything you see here can be customized and white labeled and that goes for our mobile apps as well so you can brand or white label the portal the survey manager which we're looking at now as well as the front-end apps that run on various devices so this is the user module let's jump now to surveys so this is a very common layout uh, with throughout the system as you're seeing here in the main body of the screen you have a history of previously created surveys in this case since we're in the survey module uh, and above you'll see different ways to filter through all of your surveys by a survey name or survey type here's some of the different modalities we have available for, for uh, distributing surveys uh, dates between or survey ID or even a username if you want to sort uh, uh, and filter through based on surveys belonging or created by a particular user. Um, some of the, each column is sortable if you click column headings. Um, the action area, the icons here uh, are, um, well, the magnifying glass as it indicates is a preview. You can print, you can edit a survey, you can delete a survey, you can even change the status in the status column. So if I were to uh, and by the way, you can preview device surveys virtually here or download them in preview mode on the actual device, whichever uh, you prefer. So if I wanted to preview this online survey, it gives me three options. Um, we can view it as a survey being delivered or viewed through a PC browser or a mobile browser or a tablet browser. So if I go mobile, I will get this uh, rendered on a mobile phone and here is a uh, WYSIWYG which sees what you get representation uh, of this particular survey um, using different uh, question types here uh, choose all that apply and everything you see here you can customize all the colors uh, everything you see you can modify the colors and the fonts and and all of that so um, it's a perfect pixel perfect representation of exactly how the survey will appear on that device. So that was a phone. Let's jump down and look at a tablet. See, so it give you the representation of how it's going to look on that particular size device. Okay. So that is the survey preview. We're looking at previously created surveys. And as I said, the screen layout is common throughout the module. You will always have a sidebar to the left with additional functionality and features. Um, we're in the list of surveys now by default. If I wanted to create a new survey, I would come here. If I wanted to share a survey to another account, I would go there. Um, tons of functionality here but other videos uh, can explain these in depth you can create we have a default library of questions and response scales you can pull from while creating a survey or you can build out your own library and customize that so why don't I show you quickly how you can create a new survey um, 
test demo survey. I'll just give this a name. Uh, and then you can select what modality you want to distribute your survey to. You can select from a pre-existing survey in the account and just clone it, or a template you can select, or neither, and just click Save. And this will take you into a four-step wizard where you first define your questions, next you'll customize the brand like I was talking about, where you can change the colors of the buttons, you can add your logo, you can change the fonts, etc. That's done in step two. And then after you've created and branded your survey, you assign it to a device. Or if it's an online survey, you would be uh, offered different options such as import an email list or create a public survey that's going to be rendered on a website or uh, maybe you want it to be a mobile web survey uh, rendered for uh, uh, mobile browsers running HTML5 etc. And then the optional features if you wanted to let's say uh, use an incentive uh, during the survey maybe you want to create a quiz or a, a winning a winning number uh, kind of a lottery function which our system supports. So that's the basic wizard. You can access the library like I was talking about, question and response library. Um, and depending on the question type, and we have over 20 question types in the system, uh, you can select your question type, how you want that to be a button or a drop down or a slider. Um, and then there's a variety of options here, weighted averages, we, have, we support advanced branching, multilingual, uh, you can alphabetize or hide responses. You can, I won't go into too much detail, but like I say, other videos are better for that kind of detail. Okay, so let's jump over to the reports module. You've, uh, let's say, created your survey, deployed it you know, to a variety of uh, channels, and you've got data coming in from your tablets, your mobile phones, your online surveys, your paper surveys, and you can combine all that in one report here in the reports module. So as I said, this is a very common layout, and similar to the survey module, our report module is now showing us previously created reports, the report date created by, and then the action symbols. I can preview just like I previewed a survey. I can preview a report. I can get real-time report means if I click this it will bring um, any data coming streaming in it will always give me up to the moment date data in the report it will refresh the report in other words I can edit the report here delete the report or change the status so let's say I just wanted to preview a report here I could just go ahead and preview it and then I'll show you how you can create a new report as well like we did with the survey so I just clicked on what looks like a trend analysis here uh, and once I have a report I can email it on the fly I can print it I can save it I can change all my charts uh, right within the application in real time I can even change the color scheme of how that chart is rendered or I can modify all the granular detail and then save as default and this will remember the user uh, down to the user level uh, these privileges will auto automatically be saved so next time I log into the account it will know I like my trend analysis charts with a certain color scheme and, and uh, um, font type etc so that's good to know and of course any report you render you can either you know view as we are now in the system and just save it for on-demand viewing or you can schedule that report to be delivered to yourself or any of your colleagues at any interval at any time uh, and in any format as you see here so I can um, also just uh, export this immediately uh, as a PDF or Excel or Word or PowerPoint document by selecting one of these options so lots of functionality uh, here um, and also our, our devices that uh, run on mobile, our surveys that run on mobile devices also have a tracking uh, GPS option. So we are integrated with Google Maps and you can click on a waypoint and see uh, on a map where those surveys were created and when. Uh, so that's a nice, a nice feature that, that we have. Okay, so I just previewed a, a report. Uh, let's say I wanted to create a report. I would go to the sidebar here and go to create report. We were in view report before. So we were here and I've just clicked create report. And I could either filter by account, username, survey type, or if I knew the survey name I could select that. So let's say I wanted to run a tablet, uh, report on a tablet, let's say, uh, oh let's just grab something where well, there's no data here. 
but uh, let's just see if I have here's a sample iPad survey okay so I've got 223 surveys you can run a report on completes and incompletes by clicking the total or maybe you just want to run a report on the incompletes or just the completes um, you can select individual locations or all of them then you can run a report um, from a variety of report uh, reports available to you uh, summary report, cross tabulation report, cross tab graph, summary graph, trend analysis, compare. Look, there's quite a few, and we have videos on all of these. So, this is basically the interface where you would create that report. And then, once you've created it, you can save it and or you can schedule it to be delivered on a regular basis, um, or you can export it. Um, and here, in terms of scheduling, you'll see here in the sidebar schedule reports. So these are different reports that already have been scheduled, but if I wanted to create a schedule, I would go here and I would select my survey and it would step me through a three-step wizard allowing me to uh, put in various email addresses and select what type of uh, format I want it to be delivered in, Excel, PDF, Word, etc. Um, and also I would then be able to save that and that would be sent based on the timing I select. I can select daily, weekly, monthly, I can tell the system to reach back in time maybe three months if I wanted or a year depending on if it was a trend report or not. Lots of functionality and lots of flexibility here. Okay, so that is a quick overview of the reports module. Um, and if you have your own system for reporting, that's perfectly fine. You can go to raw data here, and we support all different kinds of export options. SPSS, Excel, CSV, fixed width, comma delimited. Um, even if you're capturing media, let's say you're running uh, surveys on a mobile phone and people are capturing video and, and images within the survey, you can also export that media, the media files here. Um, lots of different methods of exporting your raw data and I should add we have an API where if you wanted automatic data coming from our web server to your web server so that it would be automatic and uh, uh, um, available for your reporting tool without having to first export from our system we have those API's available uh, for that purpose okay so and also we have dashboards net promoter score we support for example let me just quickly preview a dashboard so if I click a dashboard um, this someone created this already in the system um, this is a previously created dashboard you can click to get underlying data you can drag and drop lots of different functionality here with our dashboards okay now devices devices we have a very robust device management module just like we do with our user management module um, and you this device only has three devices one's an iPad one's an iPhone uh, one is a, a Windows kiosk okay, it tells you the the license dates um, if you even click on the serial number uh, it will tell you what surveys are running on that particular device, a history of previously created or deployed surveys. You can track that. You'll know the password, the version of the software. Lots of different details are available to you within this section. Um, also in the device module, if you're running a kiosk and you're also running digital signage, this is where you can also manage that. Um, ads and messages, you can manage the digital signage here. Um, you can schedule for kiosks to automatically wake up and dial home here. Lots of different functionality. Okay, and we've already looked at the help menu. Uh, here's the guided tours, our video library, help desk. There's user guides, downloads, our privacy policy. All of that is under the help menu. So that really is the quick overview of the survey manager. I know there's a lot of information but um, rest assured our video library is extensive and they're on par much shorter videos than this one. Uh, they're typically five minutes each and they specifically uh, drill down into various uh, features of the system in greater detail. So I encourage you to look at uh, the video library available from our website or under the help menu. And I appreciate your time. This concludes uh, the tutorial.